Good morning students. Today we are going to start our new chapter, chapter 8 Natural Resources. So, first of all we are going to justify this heading that what is a natural resource? And first of all what is a resource? Because you know that what is natural? Natural meaning we are getting, getting from our nature, from our earth. And what is a resource? Listen children. Basically, resource is something that is we can use for our benefit, for our progress, hmm? which is used by us for our help. Okay, so here water is also a resource because we are using it, we are drinking it. Okay, so a resource is something that can be used for our benefit, for our welfare. So that is a resource. And Today we are going to study about the natural resources, resources we are getting from the nature which we use for our help, for our satisfaction. So you understand the meaning of resource? That a resource is something that is used for our help, for your help, for my help, for human help and natural resource which we are using, which we are getting from nature and we are using it. So. The definition of natural resource is written on the top of the paragraph. A resource is defined as something that can be used for the benefit of a person, an organization or the entire nation. So, what is a resource? Used for the benefit means uh, for us, for our profit of a person, of an organization and entire nation like entire country India. And what is a natural resource? A natural resource is something that is obtained from nature and can be used to satisf satisfy human need. So what is a natural resource? Which we obtain from nature and we use for our needs. Whatever we need, we use. So now let us see some examples of natural resources. I have told you one is water and others are oil, timber, minerals, minerals like iron, aluminium, gold, etc. And wind, water, sunlight are also natural resources because we all are getting from our mother nature, from this earth. So, oil we get from plants, timber we get from plants, minerals we get from inside the earth, iron, aluminium and gold. And wind, water, sunlight, you have seen all of them. Hmm? Even living things like herders of animals, fox and birds, schools or schools of fish and grasslands and forest can be considered a natural resource. So even the forest, the birds, the animals and the fishes and the grasslands, they are also a natural resource because we are using them. We are getting milk from animals, meat from uh, meat from other animals and we get wood from forest and we are using it and they are natural thing. So they are also a type of natural resources. So natural resources are not man-made first of all, very important thing. We are not making it, they are making by their own and are present in earth in their natural form. So we don't make it, humans don't make it, they are present on the earth in natural form. Natural resources need to be converted into finished products so that they can be used by us. Natural resources can be broadly classified as. So let's discuss about this. So we have studied about the natural resources. What is a resource? Resource is something that is used for our benefit. We use for our benefit. Okay. And natural resource. Resources we are getting from nature and we are using for our benefits. For our use. And natural resources are like wind, water, forest, iron there are so many natural resources around us animals are also the power of natural resources and 
we do not make any of them they are present on the earth already they are on our earth we don't make it we just convert them into something like now the natural resources are of two types how many types two types that is first is exhaustible and second is inexhaustible hmm what is the meaning of exhaustible and inexhaustible natural resources so exhaustible natural resources are those which exhaust or finish after the use okay if we use them they are going to finish so they are coal petrol iron they are also known as non renewable resources because we are not able to replenish them means we are not able to regain them so so i have written also here can't replenished naturally and if when if we do so it will take a long time like coal coal is koila once we burn the coal we are not able to get coal again from that burned ashes ha huh? you burn the coal it you will get light from an energy from it then what is left there is ashes left ashes means rakh bachegi and you cannot make coal again from that ash it is well defined aap us ash se wapas coal nahi bana sakte so which is can't be replenished can't be regained hmm? that is a exhaustible natural resource which we can't get petrol we also used in our bike and we do not get it back iron once iron got finished ek bar iron jung lag gaya to we cannot use it okay when once iron got rust we cannot use it it will take a thousand and thousands of years to get this natural resources thousand millions of years okay now there is inexhaustible what is inexhaustible resources that can be renewed naturally means they are easy to get again like wind air water and sunlight best example i am taking now water see children you drink water every day animals drink water every day then what happened it comes out of our body in the form of sweat in the form of urine and then it goes again into the soil then it evaporates you have read about the water cycle ha huh? that water uh, from sea evaporate and it converts into cloud then it becomes rain again then it again go to soil then it again evaporate so it is easily we can get this resources they are renewed we do not destroy them we can pollute we are polluting them but wind also always wind is blowing okay and sunlight we are getting sunlight from millions of the year when earth is formed so they are inexhaustible natural resources they are also known as renewable resources so in this chapter we are going to discuss about these such resources in detail that now you know what is a natural resource resources we get from nature and we use for our benefit and they are of two types exhaustible and inexhaustible exhaustible are those which are about to finish okay which are going to finish and inexhaustible are those which can which are not going to finish we get it they can be renewed naturally renewed means naya jaisa ho jata hai dobara naturally theek hai ye nahi hota hai once you burn the coal it becomes ashes then so here up to now we have studied here so exhaustible resources exhaustible natural resources are those which exhaust once they are used up exhaust means they will finish once they are used up such resources either do not renewed naturally or get renewed extremely slowly over millions of years so such resources like coal petroleum iron coal cobalt inka kya hota hai ya to ye renew hote hi nahi hai they do not renewed aur agar hote bhi hai to extremely slowly they will become the new one okay like iron it will take long time example of exhaustible resources are coal crude oil means oil mixed oil like petroleum okay natural gas natural gas like you are using at your home in cooking lpg lpg cylinder mama is using na that is a natural gas cng okay 
minerals like iron copper nickel you have seen iron thing at your home copper also you have seen and nickel is also like iron these resources are not present in unlimited quantities in nature means they are not unlimited they are limited we should use them wisely they cannot replenish we cannot uh, refill them we cannot gain them again get them again themselves after being used by humans they are also known as non renewable resources so children up to now you read the here and we will if you have any doubt kindly ask from here we will study in next class thank you